Hey y'all, this is Simmer Down South, and welcome to part 14 of Let's Play Get Together. Sloane and Paolo have just enjoyed a woohoo in the closet, and at first I thought Johnny wasn't paying any attention to what we were doing, but I was incorrect. Sloane has a embarrassed plus four moodlet from getting caught with another. Maybe it's not such a good idea to have multiple relationships at once, especially if one's supposed to be a secret. Oopsies. Well, too late now. What's done is done. So I wonder if we can break things off with Johnny. Um, we're going to... I think maybe we can just have... We can only kind of just be rude to him, which they're going to do on their own, it seems. Oh, no, they're kind of giving each other a hard time. So we're going to try to not take things down a notch with Johnny, since he is with Tobias. That just is honestly a little awkward. So yeah, we're going to not ask to be boyfriend. We're going to, you know, we're going to let that kind of go away on its own now. But I had a uh, a subscriber, a fellow simmer, give me a suggestion and or more like preference, and I'm going to go forward with that. Jared Bass, he wants Sloane to keep dating around, nothing too serious, but would like to see Rylan and Candy move in and get married. So we will be doing that. I think they will be very cute together, so I'm excited to get that going. Oh! Sloane's just gonna make out with Paolo right there. And nothing out of Johnny yet, he's too busy dancing. Oh, was that negative stuff out of Jade there? Oh, is thing are things getting awkward? I think they are. What? Oh! Jade just slept. <gasps> Something's going on between Jade and Paolo. Oh my goodness. And Sloane just. Oh no, she's so embarrassed. Oh no, I had no idea that was going on. Oh crud. That's bad. Is Jade super pissed at us now? Can we smooth things over? Can we brighten her day? Um. Share insecurities and do a self deprecating joke. We gotta get her out of this very embarrassed moodlet here. Oh no! Well, that certainly came as a shock. And let's, um. We're gonna get to know Jade. Try to get. We'll flatter her. Kind of really try to smooth things out. Give her a heartfelt compliment also. Yeah, that. That was. That was awkward. That was a hella ox. How is- and Paolo doesn't seem to be feeling very good about things either. Oh, no! Oh, that's right, in Sky- oh! Shh, Nikes! Paolo's been making the rounds too, it seems! Oh, boy. Alright. We're gonna send Sloan home. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. So, actually, we're gonna... I forgot that we can just hit M and go to the map. Okay, so Jade and Sloane just became good friends. So we're gonna go home by ourselves. Oh, I didn't realize it would take everybody with us, so that's good to know. And we're gonna go home and get some sleep, see what Ryland's up to, because that was quite interesting. See, it is time for Sloan to get some shut-eye, and Rylan, oh, he's upstairs playing on his tablet, so that's nice. And he, of course, does not have a job, but how are we doing on his skills? He's level 5 DJ mixing, so we still have a ways to go with that, and I really haven't played around yet with how much money can be made doing that. So I feel like that's something that we need to do. Been spending too much time partying and not enough time working. So we're going to... Gotta remember how to do this. We're going to practice on the mixing booth. And try to, try to get that DJ skill up a little bit. 
And I think he's got, yeah, he's got a portable DJ booth. So we can at least go out and try to do our thing on that. So let's see what he can get into here. And we can control panel. No, I think it's play music genre is what we have to do with that. I believe, I keep forgetting. So we're gonna do Groovin when he's done practicing. Oh, okay, so we're doing Groovin. And that does work on the DJ skill. So we're going in the right direction. Let's see, what does, let's see. By playing for a crowd, increasing the skill unlocks new genres and interactions on the DJ booth. So yeah, only level 5, still have a long ways to go with that. And it is 5.30 in the morning, his energy's pretty high, and he has the whim to buy an instrument and join a club gathering. So what, what instrument does he, I thought they had some, yeah, so. Yeah, Sloane has, why, where is she sleeping? On the couch outside. That's not what I asked you to do. Go get in your bed. So go to bed. Sloane has a violin. Violin doesn't have anything. So we'll, we'll buy him something. We'll buy him a guitar. That seems like something he would have. So let's see, can we get, Let's see, we cannot get that one. We can get the Freezer Bunny one. The blues guitar. We'll get the Freezer Bunny one. That's cute. All right, so he's got a guitar now. And now he wants to level up in charisma skill. Okay. Well, I'm gonna let them do their thing for a little bit and we'll join back up with them when it's a little bit more of a reasonable hour. As it turns out, I totally forgot to pay their bills, and now the power has been turned off. <laughs> Sloane refuses to go to sleep, and said so she's going to go cry in the closet. And Rylan at least kind of has his act together, at least more so than I do. And he's taking care of some of his needs. Oh my goodness. So I am going to go ahead and pay those bills, get that power turned back on. I, uh, I did not realize that it was time to do that. So that was my bad. And Sloane, honey, why are you still so upset? So go take, go take a shower. Get it together. Ryland's paid the bills, leaving us with, like, no money. So we're going to have him go to sleep and get fully rested while um, Sloane does her thing. And then I believe I'm going to try to send him out and earn some money playing tips. Or I could get Candy to move in because I'm pretty sure she has a job. I think I might do that. It is Saturday. I hate to spend all day trolling for tips instead of improving their relationship. So I think I'll have Candy move in. I'm going to have them go out on a date. And dude, why the hell will nobody go to sleep? Here, turn this off. Can you do that for me? Um, no? Can we not do that? Set volume... Okay, apparently we can't turn this off, which is crazy, and I need people to go get some sleep. Please, get some sleep. You too, Sloan. Get some friggin' sleep. Get rested. This is madness. Why is nobody sleeping? Okay, so they're finally getting some sleep, and will be done in just a second. Well, now. And Ryla needs to eat, Sloane needs to pee and eat. 
She's still feeling very embarrassed. Nine hours? Holy cow. Why so long? That's crazy. So, yep. Rylan, go eat. And then we're going to invite out Candy on a date. And hopefully... Oh, let me make sure she's not working. She's working at from 5 to 11, so we need to have this date, like, now. So, Rylan, you hurry up and eat so we can ask Candy out. Sloan, what are you doing? Eat cereal. Okay. He's feeling quite good about himself right now. And, let's see here. Hurry up, dude! Who's stinky? What are we sniffing about? What is icky? Okay. We have good quality eggs and toast. Sloane's feeling sorry for herself. Would eat this, please. Don't make me don't make me recommendage you. Don't make me do it. Don't do it. Sloane's gonna tell him a dramatic story about her night. About how unfair life is, even though she's seeing like fourteen people. Okay, something stinks around here, and I don't know what it is, but somebody's upset about something. What is it? What stinks? I don't see anything. Is it this? Alright, can I throw that away? No. That would make too much sense. So, I don't know. Apparently something stinks, and I don't have the slightest idea what it is. Oh, well. All right, so they're eating. So I'm going to ask out on date. Ask on date. And we're going to ask Candy. I need to cheat out a few of these relationships. Those are not what I had intended. If you're going to not have story progression, don't give my sims romantic relationships I did not set up on my own. Thank you very much. So let's wrap this up. Sloane, I don't know what to do with you right now. You are a hot mess. You are a hot, hot mess. Alright, asking Candy out on a date. And we're going to go someplace a little romantic. Where should we go? I believe we'll go to... Hmm... Where to go? Where to go? It's a new crest. What's over here? Let's see, we have the spa. We have nightclub, a cafe, several nightclubs. We've got a park, another pool. Hmm... Willow Creek. We've got more parks. I don't know why it's showing up like I've got the auto mod. That's strange. I took all my mods out, so I don't know what that is. Very weird. So we're going to go to Magnolia Blossom. Here is the lovely Magnolia Blossom Park. And going to give Candy a suave kiss. She's only feeling fine, but we're going to. Ooh, she's she's a fan of that. And we're going to embrace her. And let's see, we'll flirt with her. We've got to do a bunch of interactions and flirtations. We'll have a deep conversation with her. And we need to sit and talk with our date. So let's... Oh. Skylar's mom's over here. Let's sit together over here. Sit and chat here. Because Candy has to go to work in two hours. And we want to get this date squared away and have her moved in before then, hopefully. So let's kiss her. And we're going to whisper no, sweet nothings. Whisper. We're going to brighten her day. And we're going to make out... Oh, there's our little sister, Yuki. <laughs> yes. Go away, sis. 
We're going to... Oh, that means we got to move Yuki in, too. <gasps> what am I going to do? There's not enough room. I'm going to have to add another bedroom. Maybe I'll add a basement. And we're going to... Oh, we got to tell her a story. So let's tell an insider story. And we're going to flirt. And we're going to... Compliment appearance. Oh, right. The thing to propose popped up. I think we're going to do that. We're going to blow her a kiss. And I want to go somewhere nice where we can take some pretty pictures. So let's go. Let's go over here. We're going to go here together. Oh, we've only got an hour. Okay, we got to make this quick. All right, so. Oh my goodness. We're going to romance. More options. Propose. All right, let's propose to Candy. All right, I'm going to take some screenshots, so forgive me. Headline effects off. And let's see. Ooh, that's nice. So we're going to take a picture here. And we're going to take... Oh, we need to get a picture of... Oh, that's that's pretty. So we're going to get a close-up of her face. And hopefully she'll say yes and make this not have been just a horrible experience. Because she looks unsure. Oh, I think she's going to say yes. Yes, she said yes. She said yes. Ryland's engaged. And the little sister's right there. We can block her out of the shot. I'm horrible. Oh, so cute. I can't wait. Oh, they're so sweet. All right. We did it. Rylan is engaged to Candy now. So go ahead and give her a kiss. And we're going to have to do a big wedding for them. And we're going to... Let's see. Flirt with date while well, flirty. I feel like we're not going to get around to that. Can you kiss her cheek? And he's just refusing to get flirty. Let's flirt again. And hopefully she doesn't run off to work. And we'll embrace her and whisper seductively. And let's see. Oh, wait, does she work today? She does work today. I'm making her miss work. Okay, we're at silver medal now. So we're going to, we can probably, yeah, we're going to tell a funny story. And we got to give her a massage. Romance. Offer a massage. I really want that gold medal date. I'm all about goals. Hashtag Sims goals. Reach comedy level three. And we're giving her a massage. We need to do some deep conversations. Nope, we're at gold. All right, so we're going to end the date. And we're going to ask her to move in. Since they are engaged now, it's probably time. Okay, so we're going to move them in together. And Yuki's coming with us. It's official. Candy and Yuki are both moved in. Sloane is still feeling freaking sorry for herself. I can't. I just can't with her right now. And Rylan seems super psyched that Candy's moved in. He's flirty. He's happy. He's engaged. And he is just going to go up there and kiss his fiance. And Rylan is on top of the world right now. He could not be happier. <laughs> Seven, oh, and that just all right. So we're gonna we're gonna spend some time with Candy. That's it's a big step in their relationship. Ooh, try for baby. It's a little too soon for that. We're going to offer her a massage, and we're going. Oh, let's go make out in the closet. I love this closet. They're so great. So they are going to, oh, and shoot, she is definitely late for work. So she's she's got to go to work. Sorry. Oh, which closet are they making out in? Not their own. Oh, you nasty. Gonna go make out in somebody else's closet? What? 
Stop it. All right, let's see what how Yuki's been. So she's a fry cook and only a C student in high school, so that's no bueno. And she's video gaming level six, everything else okay. But her aspiration is computer whiz, so that works out pretty well. As far as relationships go, she's got good relationships with Makey, her sister obviously, Alice Spencer Kim, and Hugo, and lousy relationships with Marcus Flex and Dominic Byers. So I don't know what happened there. Um, so yeah, we'll get we'll get her to make some new friends. Oh, who's calling? Hey Sloan, we'd love to have you join Spin Masters. What do you think? Nope, Sloan's feeling too sorry for herself right now. She's going to stay home and pout. She's got two hours left on this. Very embarrassed. Oi, oi they. So. See, Rylan wants to start a club gathering and sure, join sure. a club gathering. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Candy is in Spin Masters and Yuki is in Knights of the Hedge. She's in three. She's in Teen Zone and the Avant Garde. So I did start Teen Zone. They, uh, so just a bunch of teens in it. So I don't remember putting anybody in there. So I don't know. Maybe I did. But Morgan's the leader, Cassandra Goth, Yuki, and Lauren, I want to say his last name is Fink, one of my people is in the club, and they like to play video games, play pub games, dance, drink coffee, and hang out by the fire. They're not allowed to drink bar drinks because they're not old enough yet. And hang on. I heard you got engaged. Congrats. I'm so excited for you and Candy. Thanks, Joaquin. You're a good pal. And going back, and they're not allowed to fight with other members of the club. They're not allowed to do homework, and they're not allowed to use science objects. So they're all about hanging out and having fun. And screw homework in school. That sucks. All right, Sloane, how are you doing, sweetheart? You doing better? Nope. Well, her very embarrassed is almost gone. Thank goodness for that. So we are, nope, you are not going to go cry it out. You're done with that. You need to get over it. That was, you made your bed, now lie in it. So let's see here. Let's, um, let's make this salad and get that to go away. We're going to throw this away. Rylan, what are you doing? You are going to brew tea. I'm down with that. I'm cool with that. And Candy and Yuki are at work. Candy is level... Oh, she's only level 2 in the entertainer career, so we definitely need to work on that. And Yuki... She's level 2 fast food employee. So, there's that. And I think I'm going to put the aging on for everybody. Auto age. But we're going to go on long. So, that way there's at least a little bit of movement. It's, it's been stagnant for a little bit now, I guess about two sim weeks, so it's time to start moving things along a bit. Yuki's home, and her new home. Ooh, Candy has just won over the crowd at a local event when some attention hog gets jealous and starts heckling her. She can play it two ways, take Mr. Funny Guy head on, or repay his insults with silence. I'd say challenge him. Nice. Candy gets him good. Who's laughing now, clown face? Performance gain small. I knew you had it in you, girl. Let's see. Oh, they didn't even realize they brought in a ton of money when they moved in, so that's awesome. And we need to give Yuki a bedroom. Because Candy and Rylan will obviously be sharing one. So I'm going to wrap this part up with adding a basement room for Yuki. I think that's something that would work well for her. So let me add in a basement. Let's see, here we go. Basement tool. And we're going to, let's see, I'll just do that for now. Something, something simple. And wonder where these stairs need to go. 
Oh, looks like they will go there. Excellent. That works well. So we're just going to add a little bit of railing to section that off. I'm going to do the same upstairs because I forgot to do that. It drives me crazy. So there's the railing there. And downstairs, let's work on a little hangout area for Yuki. She deserves her own space. Just because her sister's getting married doesn't mean she can't have anything of her own. So there's the stairs leading down. And we can... Let's see, let's expand that out a little bit. I kind of want to put in a spot to add a arcade. I think that would work well. So where's that arcade at? Arcade game, arcade machine. So let's do the turquoise. There we go. Perfect. And we can add... What else can we add down here? It's going to be a fun kind of teen hangout spot. That's what I'm kind of going for here. So we're going to, since she's a video game gal, we're going to add in a... I'm going to make another little alcove for the motion gaming rig and have that have its own home. Here we go. That'll have a home. And let's actually, you know, if you know anything about me, it's I love my symmetry. So we're going to make that more symmetrical. There we go. And perfect. There, That's nice. Looking good. And we need to add a bedroom and a bathroom. So I'm thinking the bedroom will be back here. I'll give her a nice big one so she doesn't feel left out. So that can be her bedroom and we'll put a nice size bathroom down here too. And I know it's pretty boxy right now. I'm going to change that up a little bit. So let's get her a door. What kind of doors do we have up here? Anything cool? Standard. Oh, that does, does work. And we're going to drop on down here. Get a door. And let's see. There's another door. Going to move that out one. And put that there. Try to spruce this up a little bit. And we can turn that into something there, I believe. Okay, so put another door here. There we go. Coming along, coming along. Going to give her a nice bed. Let's give her the turquoise. And do the same with the side tables. All right, it's coming along. I'm fearful this part is getting longer than I want. So I am going to finish this up off screen and yeah, we'll check it out next time. So I hope you liked this part. I think it was pretty fun. It was pretty eventful. Candy and Rylan got engaged and Candy and Yuki moved in with Rylan and Sloane. So that was definitely exciting. Very, very cool stuff going on here. And then Sloane is dealing with the aftermath of her cold soul, her cheating heart. So maybe she'll have a come to Jesus moment and <laughs> figure that out. But for now, she's going to continue to play the field. So I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please do so. I don't want you guys to miss anything. There's so much going on right now. It's going to be a good time. And um, any comments, feedback, suggestions, ideas, things you'd like to see, please those in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye, guys.